June Squibb, um, uh, your, your movie Thelma is doing so well right now. Um, what part of Thelma was the most enjoyable for you to shoot? Uh, I think the, the, the uh, motor scooter part, <laughs> being on that motor scooter was great fun. And I, I sort of, when I first read the script, that jumped out at me. Oh, boy, all that time on the motor scooter. <laughs> Um, you know, uh, you know, it, it's almost such an interesting character and I love, um, you know, some of the nuances you bring to her, but for you, what was, what aspect of Thelma's character did you most admire? Just her determination, this thing she has of, if I want to do something, I'll do it. And I, I must, you know, protect myself. So I'm going to go get these guys that got my money. And I, I think that's, I, I love that about her. And, you know, you also, um, I think one of the most important uh, things uh, in this is the screen chemistry you have uh, uh, with uh, some of your other co-stars. And I think one of the most important ones is um, the the chemistry that you build with uh, Fred Heckinger, who plays uh -huh. Danny. Um, what was it like uh, building that, uh, 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 working with him and uh, building that sort of, and building that chemistry with him? That was easy. We, we really dug each other. We met each other here at my apartment for lunch before we started shooting. Uh, I think we both were laughing because we were supposed to rehearse, and I don't think there was a bit of rehearsal done. I think we just kept talking to each other, and Josh just sat there, you know, while we were talking away. And uh, we're beca we became very close. He's one of my best friends now. And I see he lives in New York and I live in, in L.A. And we see each other on the other coast all the time. So if he's out here, he always comes for lunch or we see him. And I with the same there. I see him two or three times a week in New York if I'm there. Um, you know, the other person that I think is, was so key with that screen chemistry was uh, uh, Richard Roundtree. Richard, yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, you are. I, I, you two make such uh, have such a great buddy uh, aspect uh, to this mm -hmm. to this film. And I'm wondering what was it like, you know, uh, working with him and getting to build that relationship with him. He was great. He's he's such a good actor. I keep saying I don't think people realize what a really good actor he was. And uh, it was just a joy to work with him. And we had a lot of time off to sit and talk. He has five kids. I have one. But we were we talked kids and we talked our careers and what we wanted to do. And it, he was just he was great. He was a great guy. I if my birthday happened while we were shooting and he wasn't on call that day. But he came in with two dozen red roses for me. Oh, just coming in impressed me, let alone with the red roses. <laughs> Um, I, I think I read somewhere that uh, when you first met him, you said uh, you said something along the lines of, of how have we not, how how is this the first time we've met? You or know something? what I said to him? I said it's about time. <laughs> That's what it's, and no one knew what I was talking about. He did. He understood it, and he laughed. He said, "Yeah, you're right." But I, I just felt, my God, we should have known each other. We should have been introduced. We should have worked together. But that's what I said to him. It's about time. <laughs> um, you know, I, I'm I'm curious as to um, uh, the the movie looked like it was so much, and, and from what you sound, what what you've been saying, it sounds like it was such a fun thing to shoot. It uh, was. Were there, but for you, were there any uh, uh, scenes that were particularly uh, maybe not difficult but challenging uh, to shoot? Yeah, I think the uh, cemetery. Because I knew this was going to be a, a fun to shoot, fun in terms of an acting fun. You know, it was something to work on, something to think about. And Fred is a wonderful actor, and uh, he, he is is it's so easy to work with him. And we both felt the same way about that scene, that it was probably our favorite scene in the script. And we were both sort of, well, we can't wait to do that one. And so I think we both went into it with the same feeling, the same attitude. And um, uh, um, did you kind of feel that way with, um, I'm sorry, I, I just, when you said cemetery, all I could think of is a cemetery scene in Nebraska. Yeah. I'm sorry about oh, that. that. 
<laughs> Very different. <laughs> you know, um, what um, I know actually that uh, one of your uh, your a longtime friend of yours and an old neighbor of yours is uh, 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 the, uh, the great Margot Martindale. Yes. And yes. I always remember when she won her first Emmy, uh, when she got up on stage, the first thing she said was, some things just take time. <laughs> and, you know, um, and I'm wondering, you know, for you, you know, you, you, you've been acting for, for so long. I mean, it's been your bread and butter for so many years. Mm -hmm. And now you're getting in the last, like, like 10, 15 years, you've had this real amazing uh, 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 spotlight on your career. And I'm wondering, what does it mean for you to have gotten this kind of success at this point in your life and career? It just means doing wonderful scripts. That's, I, I you know, I, I don't think of this, I, I don't quite know what being the leading lady means. I It's just, you know, you read a script and you either want to do it or you don't want to do it. And um, I, I think I study the same, you know, so it doesn't make that much difference to me. Uh, I, I think what it does give you is time. I mean, you, you get that extra amount of time to work on this character, to be this person. And um, I know you've done, uh, uh, you've done, uh, I mean, before you were acting in uh, movies and TV, you've done uh, a lot of theater, both Broadway and uh, mm -hmm. regional theater. Um, uh, what, um, uh, what part, uh, I'm curious as to, is there anything about theater that you particularly, uh, 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 treasure, um, maybe more so than, and, and how you, in what you do with movies and TV? Yeah, I think, well, I love New York and I lived there for 65 years and basically it's because I was doing theater and, uh, I think the fact that you do it over and over and over again to some people, that's not good. To me, it was always something I enjoyed because to me, each performance was different. There was a different audience. I came into it different. The people I was working with were, di were felt different. I, and, uh, and you just had, I don't, it's a very minuscule thing, but it's an emotional reaction that you're having that's different. So I always like that. Um, and uh, I, I have to ask, because, you know, we are an awards website, uh, you know, uh, it's really, really, I can't believe it was uh, 10 years ago that you got your uh, first Oscar nomination for yeah. uh, Nebraska, uh, which I will never forget. See, that was my favorite movie that year. And um, uh, you were such a, a wonderful part of what made that movie so great. Mm -hmm. Um, what was that whole experience like of of that of that 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 run and and uh, getting nominated for that Oscar and you know going to the ceremony? What was that like for you? It was it was exciting and it was also something I didn't know. I mean, I had never done it, never understood it. And Paramount took over and really led my life during those few months. They told me exactly what to do every day, where I was going to be every day, you know. And so, I mean, I was led through it. It was great fun. I mean, I enjoyed it. I really did enjoy it. And each one of the dinners or the awards, you know, it was a different feeling, a, a different group of people. And I remember my son and I, were awake for some reason when the Oscar nominations were to be, and we were watching it on TV. And they called my name and he said, Mom, you did it. You did it. And we both just started crying. I mean, you know, it, 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 I understand what it means. I think I do understand that. And I know it's important. And I know that it's everybody saying, wow, that was good. That was something very different and, and something that, you know, excited us. And and that's what it's all about, really, I think. And I will also say I, I loved, not only did I love seeing you because I love the performance, I thought you looked amazing at the Oscars. You looked uh, you really, with that green dress, looked like a million bucks. Green, yeah, thank I you, thought, thank you. Well, um, uh, June, uh, thank you so much for joining us, and we wish you all the best over these next couple of months. Uh, and thank to, you. And to all of our viewers, please uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and keep going to Gold Derby as Oscar season approaches. Thanks so much. <laughs> okay, bye-bye.